Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this weather update for today. I hope that you're all having a really wonderful day. And so we're going to be taking a look at what is currently happening across the region as well as what is expected. So as we're going to be heading into this weekend and and headed into early next week, there is going to be a cold front that might result in some changes for some areas. So we're going to be delving into all that in this video. But before I do so, please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening across the region. So looking at the infrared satellite here, we are seeing that there isn't too much happening. We see a bit of color here and there in the vicinity of Colombia. Uh, and uh, that is just a bit of shower and thunderstorm activity within that area. But as for the rest of the region, things are pretty much normal. Nothing too intense happening right now. And as we go ahead and take a look at the visible satellite imagery here, we're seeing a lot of these clouds moving by. But as I said, nothing thing too significant and taking a closer look at some areas so for the southeastern caribbean in the vicinity of the windward islands here we're seeing some of those clouds making their way in nothing too intense right now but that chance for rainfall is there and as we take a look at the northern caribbean here in the vicinity of some of the greater antilles cuba hispaniola jamaica we're not seeing anything too intense maybe just some isolated thunderstorms here and there across portions of haiti and the dominican republic nothing much happening across jamaica right now maybe just some cloudiness at the most and even a brief shower in some areas and then as we head to the northwestern caribbean uh, we're seeing that in the vicinity of belize guatemala as well as Honduras there's a lot of cloudiness so pretty good chance of rainfall within that area and uh, as I said nothing intense happening right now across the region however as we're going to be heading into this weekend there's definitely going to be a change so first we want to talk about some areas outside the Caribbean right now and then we're going to be delving into what is expected in terms of that cold front that's going to be making its way down so this is the GFS simulated infrared satellite so this is what the satellite could look like as we progress into the next couple of days and so we're seeing here that as we head to tomorrow wednesday and go into thursday we definitely see that uh, possibility of some showers and thunderstorms uh, within the vicinity of guyana suriname uh, French Guiana. So these areas here could experience uh, increase in rainfall as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of days as well. The GFS model is expected here. So please be on the lookout for that. And of course, extensive periods of heavy rainfall can trigger flash flooding, especially in low lying areas, guys. So please stay safe. So uh, that is what is on the horizon for you guys down there in portions of Northern and South America. But returning to the Caribbean, so we're going to be taking a look at what is expected in terms of that front so this is a temperature anomaly map from the gfs here and the warmer colors which is those oranges and reds and even that slight pink shade that is indicating above normal temperatures meanwhile the cooler colors or those blues go into those purples they indicate cooler than normal temperatures and so uh, let's take a look at what the model is expecting so there is going to be a storm system developing in the u.s and we will be feeling impacts in the form of a cold front and so as we head to Friday we see that there isn't too much happening across the Caribbean temperatures are pretty much average which is what those whites represent however as we head to Sunday here the GFS is expecting that we're going to be having that cool air starting to make its way down and uh, starting to affect parts of the northwestern Caribbean inclusive of Cuba and uh, the Cayman Islands even over to the Yucatan and also other areas such as Florida and other parts of the southeastern US and also the Bahamas now as we head to Monday Monday, this is going to be extended across some areas here. So we see Jamaica, even Hispaniola, the Turks and Caicos Islands uh, experiencing those cooler than normal temperatures as we head into the early parts of next week. So this could be a wonderful and well needed cool down for some areas. And of course, with that uh, cold front, there also comes that wind shift. So uh, winds generally coming out from the north for some areas such as Jamaica. But as we head to Tuesday, uh, we're 
we're seeing here that the GFS is expecting that, of course, these cool conditions, uh, these expected cool conditions are going to gradually dissipate and things are going to slowly return to normal. So that is what is on the horizon in terms of those possible impacts from that expected cold front. And so now let's move on to the humidity map to see uh, the chance of rainfall from this. And so this is, uh, of course, from the GFS as well, where we see those browns that indicates areas of dry air. Meanwhile, those teals indicate moisture. And of course, where we have more moisture is where there is a greater possibility of rainfall. So we see that headed to Saturday, there is that mass of dry air, a lot of dry air abundant in that region across sections of the Gulf of Mexico. But looking in the vicinity of the Southern Caribbean, uh, we see some of those teals, which indicates that uh, there's a pretty good chance that those areas there, Panama, Colombia, are going to be experiencing rainfall. And then as we head to next week, going to Monday, uh, all this dry air is definitely going to be accompanying those cool temperatures. So it's not going to be the case or it's not expected to be the case where there's going to be that cold front resulting in a lot of moisture, thunderstorms and those very cool temperatures here, but rather cool, dry conditions. And then as we head a bit uh, pretty far out to next Friday the 20th we see here that the GFS is expecting that those dry conditions are going to be pretty much uh, consistent or prominent across the region not to really going away anytime soon and uh, this is really the dry time going all the way back to March but as we head to April May and then approaching the summer months that is when things are going to start picking up in terms of activity and uh, that is in terms of all the showers and thunderstorms across the the region as well as activity as you're going to be progressing into the 2023 Atlantic hurricane season but of course that is some time out although the time seems to be moving by pretty quickly so in no time we'll be at the start of yet another hurricane season. And as I mentioned that later this week, I'm going to be posting a video uh, giving you guys the names. And it's not going to be just merely that the names to be used for this hurricane season. But there is also going to be a bit of explanation that might clarify some questions that you guys might have. But this is what is expected as we're going to be heading into the next several days. Again, we have that increased rainfall activity that is expected in the vicinity of northern South America. And of course, where we have a lot of extensive periods of rainfall that can trigger some flash flooding across some areas. So please, again, be mindful of that happening. For the Caribbean right now, nothing too intense going on. But that expected cold front as we're going to be heading into early next week could bring some well-needed cool than normal temperatures in terms of precipitation a lot is not anticipated across the region guys but of course i'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by and that is really it for right now and so if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments and you can also share your thoughts there and of course remember to always be weatherwise.